Imagine being able to pay off your mortgage 20 years early. That's essentially what happened with the state's half billion dollar debt on U.S. Bank Stadium. The good fortune is the result of the enormous success of electronic pool tabs sold by charities to pay for the stadium. As May Murphy looks at what this means for taxpayers, the Vikings, and that stream of pool tab cash. When Governor Mark Dayton in 2012 signed the bill to fund U.S. Bank Stadium, the state agreed to pay $500 million for its share and to pay back the debt over 30 years using something brand new at the time, electronic pull tabs. Last fiscal year, the gross sale of Minnesota e-pull tabs was just under $2 billion. I never thought that we would be able to pay this off within 10 years. It's an incredible story. Republican Senator Julie Rosen is often credited with getting the stadium bill passed. An awful lot of people thought you were wrong. Yes. <laughs> A lot of people thought that this was going to fall flat on our face and that the state payers, the state taxpayers were going to have to pay for it. So now what? Many legislators appear to agree with Senator Rosen, who is retiring. She says the state should pay off the remaining $377 million in debt early and continue to use part of the $150 million annual pull tab revenue for a yearly maintenance fund for the stadium. Tens of millions would be left over every year for other causes, and the state would own the stadium free and clear. Both House Speaker Melissa Hortman and a spokesperson for Governor Tim Walz issued cautious statements saying paying off the debt early and deciding what to do with e-pull tab revenue will be discussed during the upcoming legislative session. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. Vikings Vice President Lester Bagley told Esme the opportunity to pay off the debt now would continue the stadium's amazing success. Bagley said going forward, the state should continue to use some of the e-pool tab revenue for a maintenance fund.